Hey guys, Mike here. It's Wednesday. I'm off today. Uh, it's snow on the ground, so not much to do outside. I do have things to do out there, but um, snowed and it's cold, so I'm going to sit inside. Came upstairs to work on the Carve Spitfire. Today I hooked up, uh, did the final hookup of the servos for the rudder and elevator. Um, I still need to epoxy the um, metal part of the push rod into the carbon uh, carbon rod of the of the push rods for each, but they're pretty well set up. They're perfectly centered. Uh, still quite a bit to do. If you can see in this view, there's no tail wheel set up yet, and the tail wheel set up is going to be a little bit of work. I've got to cut more fuselage and make a hatch, uh, and then epoxy in the the setup with the tail wheel and some bulkheads, and uh, probably run a separate servo for that. Uh, but that'll come later. So let's go to the work at hand today. I don't know if you noticed it, but I changed the layout of the shop too. Um, if you go back to my original early videos, the uh, you can see the peak of the roof here. I had the table set up um, to run along the line of the roof line, so end to end rather than side by side. But um, it was really took up a lot of space, and I didn't realize it. And one day I moved one and then the other, and I thought... I have enough room here now to work on a couple of planes and the area where I'm standing now is open for storage. And you've seen that in some of the other videos, but um, I do, I do have a lot more room here. If I didn't have those foamies there, many of which are going to go. So I think that uh, I'll start bringing stuff out to the field to get rid of the little foamy things that I don't really fly. Uh, I'll have room to walk around that side of the bench too. So I really have pretty great access here. I'm very, very lucky that I had this open space. I don't have a garage though. So, you know, you can't really complain too much. Be happy for what we have. So here we go. Let's take a look here. You see my FreeSky X20. I love this radio. Um, Let's put this down here so I can keep it in front of me while I'm fiddling sticks. All right, so here's the elevator. And it actually works really well. No binding. It's a straight shot. Rudder is working beautifully. You go to the back, you can see in very scale fashion, the elevator has a hidden push rod. So the control link for it is inside. Uh, you can sort of see, see that little triangular gap you can see on the top and on the bottom. That allows the um, elevator to move. But the control rod is in there. You can just sort of see that dark, that little dark spot at the front of the triangle. That's the arm, the control arm that goes to a straight carbon rod that's internal so that works really well and the full scale um sorry turn my head for a second uh the full scale spitfire has an external control horn just on one side of the rudder this side very similar to this and the placement is pretty close so i get good control throw here Nothing is binding. I've set the rudder to about 95% throw. Uh, it does not really need to go complete end-to-end. -end. Um, I will probably put uh, as much throw as I can on the tail wheel when I get it set and then set it for uh, a certain amount of expo. You don't want the rudder, the uh, rather the, uh, the tail wheel, to be too sensitive on the ground because it'll whip the plane around. So I like to set that up at a slightly lower rate than the rudder. Um, it, once the tail comes up, it doesn't make a difference, but you can really get yourself out of shape pretty quickly with a tail wheel that's overly sensitive. So let's take a look inside. I just need some fettling to to clean up. You can see the two Savox servos there. Um, there we go. I put some light on the subject. Uh, the one nearest me is an SG... Oh, nope. Sorry, SV1270TG. So that's a Savox. That's a, like about a 360 inch ounce of torque at uh, six volts uh, servo. Those have titanium gears. I don't know if that makes a big difference to me what I'm doing. And the other one is, let's see if I can read that. That's an SB2230. SG? I don't know what SG stands for. 
but I think they're all Metal Gears. Um, you can see, I'm going to put this inside with the light. You can see I have a metal rod coming off of a, uh, a pretty nice rod end there, a ball link rod end. Uh, and a good, good bit of it, my light just died. There we go. Um, a good bit of it, a good bit of the rod is inside of the carbon rod, the carbon uh, tube there. Uh, same on the rudder. They're not epoxied in yet. I wanted to get my throws down before I uh, set them. I have to dig around to find out where the heck I put my uh, high strength epoxy. So I'll mix that up, create a nice fillet. Uh, of course, I'll sand and clean them first. I'll probably, uh, with the diagonals, put a couple of uh, scores in the length of them. I know it's probably overkill. There's not gonna be that much stress on these. Um, but I want to make sure it doesn't come undone. Anyway, that's all I did for today. Uh, I will probably, I'm going to have some lunch and then I'm going to throw the wing. Where's the wing? That's the first wing. That one's kind of done. Uh, the other one I'll throw up on the bench and get the servos in. Really a big pain in the butt in this plane because those hatches are so small. But in any event, that's today's work. So you know how it is. You have to do a little bit every day that you can because summer is going to be right around the corner. I mean, it's already... February, right? Today's February 1st? Yeah, today's February 1st. We've got, in the east anyway, the middle Atlantic, the east, we've got another month, maybe month and a half of cold, and then it's going to start warming up. It's going to be wet and windy, but it's going to start warming up. So we might have a nice, the odd nice day to get out there and fly. So really, we only have February and part of March for building. So get cracking, guys. Do a little RC.